Hi guys, Ishi the Warrior here. Just wanted to make this vid as a tribute to Grandmaster One Jackman, who was highly respected Shaolin Kung Fu Master and someone I've been interested in since I found out that he had a fight with Bruce Lee in the 1960s. Master One Jackman or Sifu Wong sadly passed away on 26th of December 2018, just over two weeks ago. The information in this video is to the best of my understanding. Sifu Wong was born in 1940 and studied Northern Shaolin Kung Fu from a very young age. Sifu Wong's teacher was Master Yim Shan Wu under the guidance of the famous Grandmaster Ko Yu Chang, who was one of the five tigers who were appointed to teach the martial arts styles of Northern Shaolin to the southern areas of China in an attempt to revive Chinese martial art as a part of the Chinese nationalists movement in the early part of the 20th century. Sifu Wong Jackman's teacher Master Yim Shan Wu was a close disciple and apprentice of Grandmaster Chang. Master Yim is shown in the photo with the sledgehammer while Grandmaster Chang is the one with the block of concrete on his head. Sifu Wong Jackman studied with Yim Shan Wu until moving to the south of China in his late teens to study at the Jingwu Athletic Association. The Jingwu Athletic Association was made famous by many martial arts films such as Fist of Fury, Fist of Legend and more recently Fearless, in which Jet Li plays the main role of the founding father of the Jingwu Athletic Association, Master Ho Yun Jia. In the early 1960s, Grandmaster Wan Jackman founded San Francisco branch of the Jingwu Athletic Association, which was the first Jingwu school in the USA. Sifu Wan Jackman was the teacher that is famous for fighting with Bruce Lee around the same time. This fight was a closed door event that is shrouded by rumours, inaccuracies and wildly different accounts from the early known eyewitnesses. Fictionalised accounts of this event are the main focus of two Hollywood movies, Dragon, The Brucey Story and, more recently, Birth of a Dragon in 2017. The reasons for the fight and the actual result of this fight are the subject of much debate but will probably never be confirmed for certain. What is clear though is that this event was key in the advancement of Bruce Lee's martial arts theories and the development of Bruce Lee's system of Jeet Kune Do. Sifu Wan Jackman was said to have had immense old school class and a deep character. He gained enormous respect in the martial arts community. He was a master of Yang style Tai Chi fist and the five element systems of Northern Shaolin amongst various other armed and unarmed styles of Shaolin Kung Fu. His students describe his postures as very deep and very long. His kips were very high and precise. He is complimented as a master who moved with amazing grace and smoothness. In a Tai Chi training exercise known as pushing hands, he is easily off balanced and pushed people twice his weight. Students who practiced with him have said that his arms and bones felt like iron pipes. His students say that his advice on self-defense was always tailored to the individual that asked and practical. Although he enjoyed it when his students won tournaments, he expected a humble attitude and never encouraged any displays of ego. Sifu Wang Jetman was a private person who kept his opinions and plans to himself. Although he was not a talkative man, when he did answer questions, the answers were truthful and direct. There are few teachers with Sifu Wang Jetman's depth of skill or breadth of knowledge anywhere in the world. He trained in Northern Shaolin Kung Fu from a very young age and mastered the art fully. Becoming one of a handful of true Shaolin Kung Fu masters produced during the 20th century. Sifu Wan Jetman was one of the very few pioneering Chinese teachers to openly share real Kung Fu with the American public regardless of race, creed or colour. There are many famous teachers who studied with him for either brief periods or many years. They include some of the most well-known martial artists in the USA. Sifu Wong has said to have done very little to advertise his classes.
His students report that he had an attitude of supreme indifference to whether people came or not, and he did not seek out students. When students came, he viewed it as karma that they had found his class. It was entirely up to the student to grasp what he had offered. At Sifu Wong's class, each student practiced as they saw fit. He taught each student individually. He did not run group exercises or direct his students to do anything. It was up to the student to show initiative and hard work. Sifu Wong did not award any ranks or certificates, but he taught everyone regardless of race or creed from the first day he had opened his school in San Francisco, Chinatown. He never accepted mean people or people with gangster connections, otherwise everyone was welcome to train with him. He is said to have rarely criticised others. When asked whether another master was skillful, he would simply reply that his opinion was not important. With the exception of an article about his fight with Bruce Lee written by Michael Dorgan, it is said that one Jack man refused all offers of magazine articles and publicity, and there were many. One Jack man never published books or made movies or attempt to profit from his art in any way. On the day he retired after teaching Kung Fu faithfully, for over 45 years, on December 28, 2006, Sifu Wong t told his students to remember what he had taught them, to practice and to share their knowledge, and not to keep it for themselves. Sifu Wong was succeeded by his most senior student, Sifu Rick Wing. Grandmaster Wong Jackman dedicated his life to the arts he loves and to his family. He was a real life Shaolin master and a sad loss to the martial arts community. Rest in peace, Sifu Wong.